Strongest Broly in Japan. Still keeping the same team? Yeah, Cell Goku is really good. Running Cell Point. What you got for me? All right, so here we go. Fighting uh, Tuesday, Tuesday number 36. 36. Dragon Ball Fighters, round one, and we are starting again. Nothing on the line, but this tournament is going to be stacked. We got Kazunoko in the back. Moke, the usual suspect. Screen Wrestling Man, I think he's last week here. But Verdane, yeah, the strongest. Verdane, I'll call Verdane, whatever. The strongest Broly in the world. People always asking for his matches, and here you go. Yes, though, with the hit. Yeah, don't drop it. Goodbye, Cell. No. Level one, perfect. Tekken at 55 inch, Dragon Ball 33, Soul Calibur 45. All right, but again, it's Broly, right? He's not the strongest cell in the world. He's the strongest Broly. Stream, give me uh, the feedback. Probably the game sounds a bit too loud. Let me know. I want you to be able to hear the sound, but of course you got to hear us too. How's that? Got to be able to hear the game sound, Stream. Let me know. And I only trust Farp. Farp, I only trust you. You're the only person in the chat I listen to. That's not looking like a bad bracket so far. All right. Reaction command grab with the vanish out. Keep it open. Nice of Asia. Jump to H. A lot of blue life on hit, but Yasai is not trying to get him out. He says, screw it. And that's why. All right, here you go. You're good. Drop this combo over Damon. Keep Responds that. with the 5L. Keep that window open, though. Wow. I might need to use him there. Boom. Blue life recovered here, and it's two against two. It's all right, Farp. Tell me if it's good or bad. I don't want all right. Tell me what to do. High, up, down. I'm waiting for that super dash. 2H is shit out of him. Pekos is, yeah, in Dragon Ball, and he's in Tekken, man. Pekos is a, a beast. He's also the problem. He's also the problem, and he's always winning in both games and delaying our tournaments. Even worse than Guy Man. Yes, I try to respond to the Super Dash in the air, but a bit too slow. Yeah, I knew. I'm turning game sound up a bit. Yeah, I like 20. I always do 20. That's how you do it. React to the Super Dash with, what, the 214A? Laugh at him, dropping a bomb right now. Man, Verdain got his, his cell didn't get to do anything. Completely demolished. Broly came in and total turnaround. Oh, he did. Got an extension with Goku. Sparking about to run out. Kazuga. Sai was looking so good, right? He was looking so promising there in the beginning. That hit was clean. It's all off the one drop. So it's off the one hit combo. Dropped the ender there, and Verdane was smart. Just dropped down 5L punish. And now it's up to 16 with no spark. I don't know about this. 2H confirms it's blocked. Just wants a plus frames after that. Man, they got my favorite song, too. Nice 2H. Another 2H from Verdane, right? Goku, Broly, he's just waiting for that Super Dash to come out. Man, grab what's gonna be. No, got him pressing buttons. It's gonna be death here. Kasuga. Boom. Tote Okada. 1 0. Yes, I'm putting on the headset now. You gotta put on the headset, guys. You see? You see how close we are? The players are right in front of me. They can hear me yelling in a foreign language. That's why we provide you with the headsets. Oops, sorry. It's 1 over 8. Again, it's the first time watching. This is uh, just first two single limb. A lot of killers. Anything could happen, but for some reason, no one could be causing open the first to two, right? He's always taking it. Yeah, best Broly in the world is what they say. And not only that, he also shares a lot of tech, right? If you like Broly, give him a follow on Twitter. Apparently, he uploads a lot of tech videos. So if you're not following already, there you go. Got a level three. Bag and rush. How's he going to end it? Nothing. Just going to keep him here set up. There it is. Set up for the next hit kill situation. And that's definitely going to be the end of the hit. Yeah, hit did mad work. But again, that's also, he couldn't finish the job. I heard that about hit. Is his combos are kind of hard. Not as hard as combos in some other games, but in Dragon Ball, he's got some trickier stuff there. Yeah, we're going to have no bad matches. We have enough players, the quality of players here. Every match we're going to play on stream should be a good one. He's in the barrier, gets in there with the Falling Age. Big damage in. He's got a level 3. Show me something, Verdane. Drag and rush. Laugh at him. Ha 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 ha. Now he's going to set up this situation. Yes, I'm probably going to spark you, I would guess. 
Nope, dead. See, he got greedy. He thought he could get out. No, no, no. No, no, no. You never trust your defense in this game. Never trust your defense in Dragon Ball. If you got the spark, you have to spend it. You got to protect your character. Two healthy characters and a level two spark is a lot better than one full life character with a level three spark. Ah, slam him down. Oh, oh all right. Payback. The wake up level three doing dividends, but of course this is all blue life. It's all recoverable here. Nice block, jumps out again to the dragon rush, but a bit too slow. Not enough though. He could have extended it. He got greedy. Yeah, he might have been able to kill if he did the level one spark combo or the vanish. Who knows? But look at all that life. Look at all that work. All that meter your size spent. Gone. And now he's going to die with his spark? I think so. We got two extensions on the Dane side. Oh. Backing away. Just waiting. Just go ahead. That spark's going to run out soon. No need for Vidane to go in. Punish his whiff. What is this, Tekken? Whiff punish the air H. Bring him down. One more. Pick him up. And sell. Oh, he's just trying to put the hurt on him here. Even with this spark, he doesn't care. This is over. Hito, Hito here. I don't know. Check the bracket. Uh, Justice Slim. Check that challenge bracket. Look for the names you want to see. Side fight back, but unfortunately, yeah. Uh, jump back. This time he's gonna get the punish. Drops the ender, but anyway, perfect attack. Who cares? And Verdane showing you why he's the best. 2 0 over Yesai. Good showing from Yesai, though. Uh, that hit, you know, showed he's uh, a bit of a threat in that first game. Damn, and we got this match right now? Good job, guy, man. I like that. He's sending matches right when they end. Next match, we got Kin Devil vs. Korean Wrestling, man. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. All of these mat all these matches are gonna get put on YouTube individually. I only upload the the ones that are worthwhile, and I think today is gonna be a, a pretty amazing tournament. So Kindevu is Do I have to explain it? I guess I have to. I don't know who's watching. But Korean Wrestling Man is a beast. He kinda made a like real I don't I don't wanna brag. I don't wanna brag. But he made his international debut out here at Fighting Tuesday, right? He showed up one week. We're like, who is this guy? Who is this 18 player? And then, you know, Zeus has hit, hit us with that thumbnail. But he was putting in mad work, beating all sorts of people. He almost went up against Kazunoko in Grand Finals, but his stick broke. And then Kindevu, old school, legendary player, plays every damn game. And the reason why he can play every game is because he is boys with all the top players. He trains, like, privately with Kazunoko, with MOV, uh, with Pekos, with everybody. Korean man trying to figure out, can you see his stick? You can kind of see it there. But you see he plays with a, a keyboard, like a custom hitbox. It's more like a keyboard there. Do you upload the entire Tekken set to YouTube? No, only the uh, the top four. We only stream the top four. Obviously, I wish we could give you guys, you know, every every game, every stream, every match, but it's not feasible. We only have about two hours to run three different tournaments. So we run them all simultaneously. But you will get all of your top four, all your top four matches for both Soul Calibur and Tekken. Let's see. All right, so Korean Wrestling Man up front. So we just saw the best, you just saw the best Broly player in the world and Verdane, Verdane, and now you get the best 18 player in the world, Korean Wrestling Man. Kindevu and everything he does, every game he plays, he's not the best in anything. Right, maybe some other King of Fighters, I don't know, he might be the best one. But every game he plays, he's not the best. He's just an absolute beast. He's not the best, but he can beat anyone kind of thing. But let's see how he does against Korean Wrestling Man. I think this is Korean Wrestling Man's last week as well in Japan. He spent so much time. So he, he came out here the first time. Then he came and just trained for a month. He stayed in Japan for a month just training. Then he came back for the Dragon Ball Super Match that Mito Obama complicated and Sonic Fox won. And now he's still here. He's been here for like two weeks now just grinding. But apparently this is his last week, I believe. So this might be the last time you see him here on Anime Illuminati for a little while. Anyway, first hit going to Kidevu. Goes to Oki. And here we go. The first Gotenks of the day. You're going to see why this character is considered S tier. Ha <laughs> 
Okay, finally pays off. You saw the, the EX come out from Kidevo. He might have been trying to Beyblade, but a bit too slow there. Very fortunate for Kareem Rassing Man. Kidevo team top tier? Yeah, yeah. He's all, my man only plays top tier. Come on. He's smart. Anyway, both players scramble right now. Yet to any, get any clean hit, get any sort of momentum started. Kidevo still with his spark. That's pretty big. Whoa. So King Wrestling Man as well is known that if you can kill his 18, that team kind of falls apart. So wisely he's bringing her back out, putting in 16, protecting his his hero. Good defense from Devin. Very good defense from Devin right there. Oh. Yeah, try to make it safe with the command grab, but Green Wrestling Man lands a hit, drops the combo, picks him up with the 2H. Bop bop, plan him. Extension, getting all this meter, all this damage. Ba ba. And now we're gonna set this up. Kidebu. He's gonna spark. Watch this. Watch this spark. Check this spark out. There it is. Gotta. You don't want to lose a character first. Do not want to lose a character. So they want to get the game sound here. Oh man, no, it's the ox, ox. All right, so we have to uh, give me a second, guys. I'm sorry, sorry about this. I have to try. I might break the damn computer here. So no commentary for a second. Sorry. Ox one. Sorry, Ox. How the hell do I do this? Ox outputs. Ox one. Oh, okay, hold on. Alright, ready? Sorry, They're, we're trying to get the game sound in the venue, but the guy walked away. I think I did what I could do. I have the outputs here. All right, that's good. Ox set. You guys uh, can still hear me fine, right? Ox output one. Hey, hey. Oh, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. Anyway, back to the match. Until he comes over here and tells me uh, he needs help, I'll focus on you guys here. What, what's going on? Two to two here. Both players with Spark. Okay, Kareem, Kareem Rest Man, slight lead. I did it. Man, I'm smart as hell. This is why I get paid the big bucks, man. Pro streamer. I know how to do aux outputs now. All right, back. I can focus on the game. Bop, bop, drop him. Cream Wrestling Man. Up. Gotenks could definitely make this comeback, but the problem is he's got no meter. Gotenks is a, a very meter-hungry character. That's a start, though. Of course, the Bardock level 3 spam. Man, come on. This is high-level Dragon Ball. You know, you're not gonna get your, you know, your theme team. You're like, I'm gonna run all Goku Blue. These guys are out here, some of the best players in the world. There's no money on the line, but there is pride. These guys are out here to win. They're gonna play with the big teams. Another hit. Again, no meter, so it's not that scary. Nice DP. This is gonna be all blue life, but the thing is, when you're down to your last character, you have no means of recovering it without Spark, so it does count. It does hurt a lot. Didn't build that level three. Gonna set up the ghost, okay? All right. Cool setup. Got the meaty. What a confirm. That was sick. Had to spend the bar because he already used a super dash. Kendevu taking out Vegeta. 16 against the little rats. And he's got the life lead? I didn't even see that. This is not looking good. Who likes block? It's your turn. You didn't want to press the button, though. Another confirm. Drops the combo. He tried to super dash, maybe, but this is gonna be it. Man, Go Tanks is good. Kareem Rustman cannot be happy with that one there. Cannot be happy with that. Yo, you, yo, you. Yeah, he just kind of killed himself, though, right? That's what Go Tanks can do so well. He can rush you down. Like, he can rush you down. He can lane you out. As you saw, there, Key Blast. He can mix you up to death with the, uh, the Ghost Oki. His block strings is just so strong with everything. 
And it was definitely uh, Kid Debu's game to win. Or uh, Korean Muscle Man's game to win. Watch, he's gonna kill him here. In the last set we saw, in the last game we saw Korean Muscle Man go for the level one spark to keep his character alive. What I was gonna say is that he usually uses the level one spark to kill, right? He loves, he's got the touch of death all over the place, but he dropped it. That's big. Ha! Now he is in trouble. I'm standing up, man. Screw sitting down. Man, he, could, he tried to get cute right there with the TK uh, slam. Doesn't get anything, though. Vanish blocked here. Korean Rest Man tried pressing a button with slow ass 16. You're not supposed to do that. You can't outmatch Bardock. What are you thinking? What a confirm. Right into level 3. Goddamn. Korean Rest Man nodded. He liked that one. Said, good stuff, good stuff. No spark, they're gonna have to guess. To stay alive. I don't know what he was baiting it. No way. <laughs> the hard, hard read from Premier Man does not pay off, but does not get punished for it. Destructo disc. Kian's on, Kian's on. Ah, uh, got sandwiched there. 16 assist in the rear. Two bars, not enough to kill though. Dragon Rush, still not enough. He wants to set up. Ooh, blocking the fuzzy. Good stuff from Kuren Man. You cannot react to that. You have to just know they're going to go high. Oh, God. That was dumb. You guys see all those hook gang god memes about, you know, Bardock, the high IQ, just mash 5L? That's why. Anti-air 5L catches him into this. And they were slowly withering down the team. Dragon Rush God. Goodbye 16. No spark. And they in complete control right now. Korean Wrestling Man going to go back to Korea with a bad taste in his mouth. Tastes like salt. Korean Wrestling Man has to improve in a lot of aspects of the game. I agree, I agree. He's a very, very strong character. His 18 is an absolute monster, but he loses outside. Like, to the neutral. Some decision making. Oh, he dropped the combo. Again. And execution. No. Reflect. Never match and reflect. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that was a hard read with Vegeta. Did not pay off, though. He's in trouble. Vanish. Oh, got Bardock, at least. A lot of blue life. All right, that was pretty big. He had all that blue life because he'd uh, eaten that 18 combo earlier. Nice use of the barrier there. He would have beat that 5H. Trying to pick him for that comeback from the last game. Okay, super dash in there. Ba, ba. Mother with the jump outs, trying to keep him locked down. Dragon Rush, no reflect for you. And now Korean Wrestling Man's in the lead. This is a good set, back and forth, back and forth. Two bars. Shinugai. So this is exactly where he was in the last game, right? Two against one, and then there was Gotenks. Do not let Gotenks make this reverse comeback on you. Not a reverse comeback. Oh, God. That's one. Donuts. Ikuaya. Bop, bop, bop. Got the pixel. Ooh, that might have been a mistake. It might have been a mistake, but it worked out. Might have been a mistake, but we take those. So in this game, when you hold forward and you call your assist, uh, you actually swap them out. So he got crossed up. He might have been trying to block and call Vegeta, but the cross up forced Vegeta to come in. Avoid the 2M. That was big for Korean Wrestling Man. Good reaction to the reflect. Respond to the vanish. So the player is one hit away. Uh oh. Got an enemy to confirm. Another one. Go tanks. His little right is doing work. Bringing back 18. That's the problem. Take her out. Dragon Rush. Tex. Two H. Ah, what are you doing? Yahoo! Confirms again with the jump 6H. Man, that move is so good. Every character Kadeva was killed has been with that aerial key blast. Got him, okay. No drop this time, just uh, the early jump M. He called Gotenks out of, what was it? Super Dash startup, I think. We tied up one apiece. This is a good set, and this is only round two. This is actually their first round. Oh no, sorry, this is round two. They did win a match to get here. Super Dash connects, drops the ender there. Gets punished, went for 2H, he got punished. Unfortunately, Kadeva drops a combo, but picks her up right again. Boom! 
Man, that was a sick setup. Could I? Ooh, both players reflecting in each other's faces. They both reflected and they both mash, and of course, though, Gotenks with the faster button comes out on top. Ikuzo. Got him. Hurting uh, Bardock a little bit. Kaiser Super Dash with the beams already out there. Unable to vanish in time. And here comes that setup again. Damn, that is cheap. Green Master Man reeling forward in his chair right now. He knows this is dangerous. He's about to lose, you know, the main character on his team. Why did he get hit there? He crossed up, right? So Beyblade, just to keep him in blocks, and then you bring him down to the Bardic Assist, and then Gotenks can choose which side he wants to land on. See if he wants to go high, low, Dragon Rush. We're starting to see the, the meta here in Dragon Ball change, right, into the tag over. Early on in the game's life, I remember a lot of players were predicting this. They're like, the future Dragon Ball is going to be about Tag Oki. And we're starting to see it come to fruition here. Bob, plan him. You got to kill that 16. Got him, got him. No, he didn't get the wall bounce. That's big, though. They're immediately going to bring him back in, get the blue life. Okay, another chance to kill 16 here. Got him. How the hell do you even do that? Kindevu kind of like, what the hell was that? Normally, I would stay on the ground and go for the anti-air grab. He did aerial IAD anti-air grab. That was sick. Two to two here. Both players still with Spark. Okay, first one to spend screen wrestling, man. He's got to make something happen here. And that's a good way to start it. He gets a damage bonus. The meter bonus. He's got these loops, too. Don't go too long, though. Yeah, don't go too long. Plan him. Level three. This ain't enough. This ain't enough. I don't know. With this spark, let's see. Not enough. Counter spark here. Yeah, he's matching spark, of course. Everyone knew he was going to spark right there. Korean Wrestling Man wasn't even trying to bait it. He was just trying to make him block after the spark to set up that mix up, and it worked out. Korean Wrestling Man, two against one. Gotenks has made this comeback before. Can he do it again? He gets tagged with the spark. Dropped him, but the spark is going to protect him a bit. Oh, again, Battle of the Super Dashes. Green Wrestling Man comes out on top. Dragon Rush. Uh. This box about that on Kendevu's side. Nash is out, though. No respect. He's got four bars. Just going to set the level three here. Yep, can't kill. Going to set him up for this next hit kill situation. No spark on Korean Wrestling Man's side. He does have a Vegeta assist, though. Super Dash. What? I have no idea why he got that, why it worked, and then he just mashes out. Kindevu is about to go down. Final flash. There we go. Korean Wrestling Man over Kindevu. That was a good set. Both players. Korean Wrestling Man knows. They're both laughing. They've been training partners too, by the way. So Korean Wrestling Man has been hanging out Heiwa Jima for like a month, months now. And Kindevu is also like a Heiwa Jima resident. So these two... Super training partner is good set, and Korean Wrestling Man beating his buddy on the way back, and he's flashing his crack for everybody to see. All right. Bow, bow. So he's going to move on two against one. That was a good set. That's only round two. It's not even top eight yet. Guy Man, give me that match. With that, Korean Wrestling Man moves on to top eight. We got Kazunoko Aqua. No, I want that on stream. Uh, it's not Guy Man's fault. He, Guy Man's not smart enough to make the executive decision. But I'd be like, yo, hold that match for a stream. But I, we also told him he has to rush it. So I think they're probably going to play it off stream, unfortunately. The anti Kazanoko Club. The anti Kazanoko Club. Wow, Moke lost? Or maybe he left. I don't know. But Moki entered the tournament. He lost, though. King Wrestling Man knows Japanese. Uh, he's learning. He knows. He knew a bit. And he's been here for a long time, living with Japanese people. So they said he's been learning. He's been practicing. Guy Man. Guy Man, we need a match. Not no more breaks, please. Do your shit. Get your job. Bam, 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 bam. When's the Anti Sonic Fox Club though? That oh, it's been. Japan has had the Anti-Sonic Flux Club. They've been... We've had uh, that since the beginning, right? Japan always teams up 
to play against whoever the top American is. Like they had the anti-punk club when he was unstoppable, where like it, like Tokido, Daigo, Haitani, I'm talking about the best players in the world, just sit together in a house and watch match videos and come up with strategies and try and sniff out his tendencies and stuff. They've been doing that. But to do that to their own player, their own buddy Kazunoko, that's that's next level stuff. Boom, 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 boom. All right, guys, so we are waiting. Here's in the back. There's Guy Man. There it is. If you have any complaints, if you're on YouTube, you have any complaints, that man, that bearded man right there, that's Guy Man. Hanatani, thanks for the 26 month uh, sub right there. Guy Man, give us a damn match. Give us a good match. But there's Dragon Ball in the back. He's watching, he's waiting. He's lazy. He's looking at a girl. I guarantee he's looking at a girl. The Dragon Ball tournament's to his left, and there's this one girl in training mode playing like, I don't even know what she's playing, like Street Fighter 4 somehow. Guy Man's like, hey man, what's up, girl? You need any help? You know I'm one of the best. I'm one of the top, uh, top, uh, and boys and players in all of Mexico. Anyway, here's the front. We got uh, Tekken going on as well. Tekken tournament's being run along with Soul Calibur and Dragon Ball. Three games simultaneously. Man, this guy yelled at me on YouTube. He told me, he's like, hey, very professional asshole. Like, where are the timestamps? I was like, man, that guy's a piece of shit, but that was a good idea. So I got to remember to put timestamps on this video. So we have uh, whatever. It'll be easy for that. But yeah, every match is good so far. The first match of Redain was pretty good. Even though he blew his back out, people always want to see Redain footage. So I'll cut that. I'll cut this one. And then I'll cut top eight. I'll just put every Dragon Ball up individually. Anyway, it looks like Kazunoko is here. And he's fighting Aqua right now. Hey, what up, genius? Thank you, man. Twitch Prime for two months. You're on the big stage, too. You see you're on the big screen. You sub now, you get on the big screen. But yeah, with Moke being out now, Verdane K, Korean Wrestling Man, Makuda, Zylish against Uminchu. Uminchu's really good too. Uminchu's a beast as well. Uh, he did work last week. And then Kazunoko Aqua. So it looks like it's going to be another victory for Kazunoko, unless there's a huge upset. I'm going to have K, it looks like K Nekoze are saving. Both these guys are good. Nekoze, I believe, just got top eight at the. Uh, there is a tournament up in Sendai, the one that Aqua was talking about, right? That was won by Hiro Hiro. I believe Nekoze was in top eight. He is quite good. But yeah, they they are sitting down right now. Yeah, unfortunately, for unfortunately, uh, it's going to be probably Kazunoko Aqua off stream. It's not Gaiman's fault. It's his fault we had to wait, but it's not his fault, that one. Boom, boom, boom. Sometimes you get lucky, right? Sometimes you get lucky. I'm happy seeing so many Tekken stations. Yeah, man. Eight. We have eight. And then a dedicated stream set up here. We got eight Tekken. We have... Eight Soul Caliber, and then we have I think like ten or eleven Dragon Ball. There's more Tekken players here than Dragon Ball, but I don't know why we don't we keep it like this. All right. So K plays on his uh, little stick, his little like tiny ghetto stick that he bought at like the dollar store. He but he trusts it. I don't know what kind of parts are it uses. Doesn't look very good. But yeah, K running base Vegeta, right? And Cooler. And Yamcha, okay. K's been running all sorts of characters. Right? He used to run 21. He ran Broly for a bit. He's dedicated to the base Vegeta. So it's nice to see some rare characters. And he knows what he's doing, too. Nekoze, though. He's, Nekoze just running that team or that season one top tier. That's still top tier in season two. Bam, bam, bam. So here we go. Top eight. Still only first to two. Can it be recorded? No, we do not record all these matches, dude. There's there's literally like 40 matches going on at one time. I'm not recording everything. Get the hell out of here. Like, use your brain. You think that's possible? Come on now. Anyway, here we go. Top eight. Who is stronger? 
Saiyan Saga Vegeta or Cell Saga or Android Saga Vegeta. I forget when he went Super Saiyan. Androids. Reaction in the Super Dash with the DP. And we got the theme song too. I got to make sure we talk. Oh my God. If, if that YouTube video gets demonetized, that's it. These guys are both banned from the tournament. I need my $2. Uh, da, 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 da. Nice reaction there to Super Dash. You got them both too. Immediate. Oh no, you dummy. He had the right idea, right? You immediately spark when he saw the happy birthday to do as much damage. Maybe kill both characters. But he dropped it. He dropped it. That could have been the game right there. Boom. Bringing him in. Yamcha gets the blue life gone. DP hits. He avoided it, but the second part caught him. We scrambled. Both players dropping their spark early. Unable to land a whole combo. What the heck is going on? Cool with the aerial DP. Drops another combo. What is going on, guys? The YouTube monster is going to rip you apart. You're going to say, my little brother plays better than these guys. Finally a combo and a side swap. Brings in a little... A little Majin Buu, little Kid Buu out here. Hikaru! But by saying airborne, don't want to stay on the ground. Do not want to let their assist. Oh my god, okay, Jump H caught him in the rear. Drop him. There's the key rock, and now Base Vegeta is getting started. Nice little stagger right there. That was kind of hard to see, but what he did, but after the Jump H, he did 2L, stagger 2L. He gave uh, Nekoze just a little bit of time so he could try jumping out or try pressing a button. He tagged him right there, and first blood going to K. Drops him here, big bang attack, land him level three. What's the mix up? No spark, got him behind. Good reaction too, that's how you deal with Dragon Rush, right? That's the optimum way to deal with Dragon Rush. You just tag in your opponent. Another stag here from K, catching Nekoze, trying to move, it's not your turn yet. Ba-ba, plant him, toss him up, Shine! Man, that super is cool. It's so basic, but so cool. Good block on the cross up there from Nekoze. Oh no! So he So he got cute there, right? Reflect, try to 5H, but immediately K brought in Yamcha. And now he's in control. Three against one. Dive kick, it is a uh, special cancel. Right there, he waited to get on the ground, went for the scratch. Stands one, level three. No. Or maybe. Who knows? Vegeta. That's gonna be a punish. What does he do with it though? Does he bring back in Yamcha? No. He wants Cooler. Cooler does have a DP, does have a counter too. Not gonna get get a chance to use it. He's dead here. Man, that's pretty optimal. Boom. No, 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 no. I hate when I see that. I hate that. That is my pet peeve in any fighting game. When someone does like the hard part of a combo, something really sick, and then they drop the easiest part. He got the kill anyway with the eagle kick, but all he had to do was big bang attack. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. You're right. Anyway, that's one. He's still behind, but... Oh, never mind. Actually, no meter. We got it there with the knee drop. Got it the whole Game one, going to K. Seven bars on deck for Nekoze as he drops down. K1. Yeah, kind of a scrambly match there at the start, right? Both players, misplays, drops all over the place. Let's see if they can tie it up here in game two. Ah, uh, he tried it too well. That was unfortunate. He had the right idea about mashing into Dragon Rush, but a bit too early, or a bit too far away. Another DP. Change. the ball, right, to ignore the Super Dash from K. Cool to die, very powerful move. Yeah, K is super lame. I like it, I like that neutral. He's not smothering you, he's just taking his time, jumping back, Super Dashing away. I get the combo as well. So far, Cool hasn't really done much. Just a couple DPs, but this character, when he gets started, he is quite strong. Another drop from K. Come on, man. I'm tired of saying another drop. Please. We need a drop count. 
Breaks in Vegeta, but yeah, Nekoze just like a deer in the headlights. Didn't even move. Just let him fly at him for full screen. Ate it. Level three. Back on good tech. A lot of bullets here on Nekoze's side. Yeah, you have to get Kibu out. He does successfully. Sasukukui. Now's your chance. No assist on K's side. Now's when you want to go after him. And Nekoze, you know, recognizes that. And he rushes him down right now while he's weak. Assists are back. Now you got to play a bit more defensively. There's one. Brings in Yasu. Good eye. Scratches his way out of there. So get the hell away from him, Vegeta. Man, Vegeta took Yance's girl. Never forget that. Wow, that Super Dash actually crossed up, but Nekoze somehow was able to block it. Lame, lame, lame. I like it. I like it. You don't see this in Dragon Ball, right? Dragon Ball usually very aggressive game, very, very offensive. I like K's style. I would have lost already, right? Spark, and it brings in base Vegeta. What do you got? Drop him. Mother, right? When you have when you have the spark, your super dash becomes a lot more powerful, so people tend to just mash on it like that. Nekoze though survives the dragon or sorry, survives the spark, interrupts the dragon rush, and he's gonna kill base Vegeta. If he doesn't drop it, that's one, that's two, and one more. Yep, four bars. Worth it. Show us called no grand finals. Oh his girlfriend or his grand finals? What are you asking for? Show us your girlfriend, we'll show you his. How about that? Oh, you don't have one. Oh, shit, sorry. 2H. Of course, gonna banish. Make it safe after that. He's got a spark as well. What can you do? Dragon Rush. Optimal stuff here. Finally, the they doing a big boy combo. Plants on level 3. He cannot get the cross up here. He cannot cross up. And I'm gonna tell you guys how I know that. Never mind. He can cross up. I got it wrong. It's like, if he lifts you up, so after 16's uh, level 3, it's like, if he lifts you up in the air, if he lifts you up in the air, he can't cross you up. If he goes right into the level 3 and doesn't lift you up, like, the I'm talking about the animation. If he just goes right into the explosion and doesn't lift you up, then he can cross you up. Something like that. It's one or the other. Figure it out yourself. I think we're gonna say goodbye to our friend K here. Actually, no, he's still in. Boop, boop, boop. One one. Yeah, Aqua lost to Kazunoko. That's kind of I mean that's pretty expected. Right? He can't beat Kazunoko. That's that's his uh you know, that's his character right now. He can't beat Kazunoko. He's the Vegeta of Fighting Tuesday. Kazunoko's Goku. Kazunoko is Goku. Ako, you know, he puts up some good fights, but he can never come out on top. Good drag rush here. Reaction content knowledgeable. React to this bitch. Yeah, no Kaimato here, not this week. Where was your reaction to that one? Get off. Goes high, caught him, unable to actually confirm off that. Ah, uh, Yamcha, man. Yamcha, one of the best assists in the game. Easy. Easy. You think it's your turn, and then boom. My man just out there scratching it. Ogawa is not a Frieza man. I don't know what, you, I don't know what you're talking about. Kachigawa not here today, no. All right, one. Doesn't want to go for the loops. No, he dropped it. He didn't want to go for the damage. He wanted to prioritize bringing back in uh, Super Vegeta, but he drops the end there. Come on, K. Come on, K. Angel. All right, Cooler's in here. He's got three bars on deck, too, if he wants to spend it. Down your chest. One more. Soul it on. And he wants to bring in base Vegeta again. All right, K. Three against two. Both players still with Spark. Final game. One apiece. 
What's the plus frames after that? Backed away, trying to sniff something out from K, but no. Super Dash is running that 2H. Gallic Gun. Sokidan, and then one more. No, you dummy! Is this the best Japan has to offer? No wonder Sonic Fox is winning every damn tournament. These guys can't do a damn combo today. What's going on? All right, 2H. Okay, who's out? He just went flying out of there. Able to get the kill anyway, though. Three against one. Neko's a spark about to run out. Things ain't looking too good. My man K can't do a combo, but he can beat you. Oh my god, stayed in front. The problem is he only has one bar. One bar and no assist. Yep, not enough. That's the issue when you're down to your last character. You can't do as much damage as normal. Able to tag K though. Caught him standing up there at the end of the second 2L. That's one. You need two more and you gotta get past that spark though. Uh-oh. Drop up just doing his damage, right? Can't kill, just trying to put some some hurt onto Nekoze because he's got no way of recovering this. Oh, beautiful cross up here. He's got two bars too, let's see. I think he, yeah, he can definitely kill here. Yeah, vanish, plant him one more time into the level one. Whoop, one, okay. Yamcha against, yeah, level three spark Yamcha too against 16. This is definitely K's favor, but you know, Nekuze's working on, he's working on his comeback. Blue sky. Staying airborne, doesn't want to deal with the super dash on the ground. Oh god, got him! You saw the, he tried to reflect, right? You saw the key blast come out, that's a failed reflect after getting crossed up. Another cross up though. Hi, Nekuze. Probably gonna go for the level three here. Now he knows that K's gonna spark, and there it is. Oh god, you're dead. In front, got behind. Nexus just staring at him. No! <laughs> so he was mashing level three. Uh, he got crossed up, so level one came out, and it worked though. But still, you're not out of the woods yet. You're so dead. You're so dead. You cannot survive this. Good counter reaction. Plan up. Run out the spark. Yeah, just extend this. Just extend this. Here it is. Yo, he blocked the cross up. Spark's about to run out for K. All right, Nekoze. He's doing it. He's doing it. He survived the spark. He's got two bars. If he can land one clean hit, he can kill. But of course, so can K. Dragon Rush, that's going to be it. If he doesn't drop. We've seen drops all day. Actually, no, it's not it. Even a level three is not enough. Here it is. It all comes down to this mix-up. Dragon Rush, high, low, cross up. Oh, we just ran up and punched him right in the foot. The level zero, just run up and just slap him in the foot right there. Whew. Whew. Nekoze with the 16 comeback. Well played. Yeah, sometimes, like I said, right, there's so many different options, right? I was thinking about all these different layers. He's like, no, I'm just going to run up, hit you in the ankle. And there we go. Okay, good showing. I like his team, right? I like that team that he runs, but... Pushy Nekoze, the one come out on top. All right, next match. Who we got? It looks like you're sending him Kazunoko against Zylish? Who is this guy? Zylish is not a gum. Zylish beating Paka. Beating Paka, who's pretty good. Beating Uminchu, who's pretty good. But now he's got to go up against Kazunoko here in top four. God damn, I don't know about that. I don't know what his name says. But here we go. We're now into the top four. It took about an hour, but we are in the top four. Huh? Yeah. There should be two razors there. Did they take the razors? Did they just steal razor sticks from us? We got Panteras everywhere, but we are missing some Panteras. Guy Man needs to go find one to give. Yeah, we do provide arcade sticks for everybody. Whoops, sorry. 
And we got the camera frozen again, so I'll take this opportunity to do this. Ish. And plug it back in. There we go. What's this guy's name? Key. Yes, yeah, it's not Zylish. Hold on. Kishi. I'm calling him Kishi. Kishi. His name is too hard to say. It's a goofy name. I'm going to call him Kishi. Kishi against, of course, the monster. The final boss. This is the final boss. This is the strongest player in all of Tokyo. I, w I was saying in America, or I'm saying in the world, but after losing two in a row to Sonic Fox, got to put some respect on Sonic Fox's name. He is the strongest player right now, but things change, right? The power levels are always switching out here in the world of Dragon Ball. The finals, the Dragon Ball World Tour finals, I believe, are in January, right? I believe they are in January. So uh, there's plenty of time. And he is running Kid Buu, huh? All right, let me get this tweet out to you guys too as well. You can. Boom, let me hit you with this. This is social. Bop, bop. Hit me up on those social media. Hit the follow. And if you can, retweet. Let's get some more eyes in here. As we got Kishi. What the hell? What is going on? Huh? Who is who? Who is who? What? Who's, who's who? I got no idea. Uh... Uh, all right, give me a second so I can figure out who's who. All right, it's Kazunoko. Kazunoko in the red. Kazunoko traditionally also runs the, the red colors, right? So he did get his color. Kazunoko player one, Kishi player two. Absolute mirror match right now. We are out here in West City, the destructed town. Give me one second, one second. Sorry, guys, I got to do this all by myself. I'll be right back. Commentate the match by yourself. Top four now. Top four now. Kazunoko versus Kishi. Call him Kishi. Watch out TV Anime Illuminati. Hang in there, guys. Hang in there. One second, one second. I'll be right back. I need a damn assistant. I hear level three. Someone's getting blown up. All right, what's going on here? Kazunoko. Okay, early spark. All right, Kishi. Wow. He weathered the storm, but ah, unfortunately, he eats the Yamcha assist. Four bars on deck here. Five bars on deck. Level one. Level one. Level one. Oh, it's enough. Never mind. I thought he would be trying to go for the double level one here, but just boom. Spending all five victory gets the kill. Definitely worth it. First blood going to Kazunoko. Still very, very healthy, too. Kishi does have the spark, but he lost. He lost that kid, boo. Oh, God. He's about to lose a Dogohan, too, maybe. Yeah, Kid Buu was his original character. He switched to Gotenks recently, and his Gotenks is a monster, which is why I'm really unsure of why he is back on Kid Buu. I understand why he's doing it here, right? We are here fighting Tuesday. This is just uh, a weekly. No money on the line. So this is where you come to try and experiment. Good with Punisher from Kishi. But why does he think, what does he think Kid Buu provides that Gotenks does not? I'm unsure. Oh, no. IED back in the corner. Drops an elbow on him. Big extension. Side swap, yep. Oh no, he drops into them. Damn, from downtown, Kazunoko. He had uh, the assist as well, so he's like, screw it, I'm just gonna drop a ball on you. There's a spark, you have to spark, the insurance spark, right? Do not die to the next hit. Damn, that's cheap. Whoop. Drop him again. Going to pound the chest. Just wants to get Kibu out of there. Bring in Yamcha. Spark should run out soon here. If it even matters, Kazunoko might be able to kill before it runs out. Yep. 
He's just waiting for that. Saw the Vanish. Two H's on reaction. Doesn't have the meter to kill, though. But this is uh, pretty much a wrap. I'm going to update the score there. Kazunoko 1 0. Trying to make it like nine, eight or nine times. He is just way too strong. The whole army is out here to defeat him, but nobody can do it. Kishi couldn't even get a damn character. Nice. Again, just back dashes. Wait for you to come to him. I dare you to super dash. You think I'm not going to 2 inch the shit out of that? He's ready. And then after that, you see that too. Jumps in the air. Just the tip of the adult Gohan assist. Just to make you block and then deal with the mix-up after. Whoa, I am out. He heard Sonic Fox was in the building. He was out. He's like, I'm going home, man. I don't want to lose anymore. Flying all the way back to uh, Heiwa Jima, wherever he's from. Again, that delay, that falling IAD, catching him with the jump L. That mix-up is a true 50-50, right? That was the, the terror of Season 1. Dogra botting everybody with that. Oh, my God. Too. Every read Kazunoko makes is working out. Kept his distance. Like, go ahead, reflect. I'm going to delay my 5M after that. Put the stanky leg on you. And now it's 3 against 2. Sonic Fox, are you watching this right now? Are you watching this through that smelly uh, fur mask? Whatever. What is he? He's a fox? That smelly fox mask of yours? This is Focus Kazunoko here. He's training to beat you. He's coming for that ass. January. Run it back. The Japan Saga event is in uh, next weekend. So not this weekend. So we have one more Fighting Tuesday, and then we have the Saga event. I don't think... I don't think Kazunoko, or I don't think Sonic is coming, but all the Japanese players are going to be there. But they're training. The main event is January, right? It's nice you won that exhibition, but the main show is coming in January. Everyone is getting ready. Kazunoko looking untouched about here again, like usual. Super Dash, nice block there from Kishi. Uses the guard cancel to get out, but still in a very bad spot, especially if you want to eat that Yamcha assist call. Level three. Guard cancel, yep, that is unsafe. It is better than a regular guard cancel, but like the usual guard cancel, it's unsafe on block. Cause with the block and the punish. Pick him up, knock him down. Back away, doesn't want to go for the mix up yet. Got him. That's one. You need only about, you know, 23 more. Yoga I don't even know what it's called. Fuken. Hora, level three. There's the spark from Kazu. He's like, I'm not going to let you get one character. I'm going to beat you two games in a row. Two games in a row without dropping a character. And that is why Kazunoko is Japan's strongest Dragon Ball Fighters. But hey, what up, Ab again? Why don't you come out? Come on out, man. Abigan, you got a comment on YouTube. They said they like Abigan's team. They said they like your big body team. All right, but with that, Kazunoko moving on into the grand finals to fight the winner of this next match, Korean Wrestling Man against Nekoze. Korean Wrestling Man, as I've been saying, you know, the, the 18 player, the monster. But he made a, a pretty big comeback. Right? That was a good set. And then Nekoze was the one who made that comeback with 16. So the two comeback kids now about to sit down here. The other side of top four. And you see all the Tekken players huddling around like hooligans. Waiting for their matches to get called. But yeah, once this is over, once Dragon Ball is over, guys, we only have two more matches of Dragon Ball and an interview. Once that's over, we'll be bringing you, I believe, Soul Calibur. And then after that, we'll be bringing you our Tekken. Welcome, Fighting Tuesday, number 36. 36 weeks of this. We've changed, there's a lot of different faces. But we're still out here giving you this action every week. Uh-oh, did they mess up the sound? A Korean wrestling man did it. This is the headset, right? Hold on. It's the headset thing, right? I think it's his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. watch, he knows, yeah. He knows, he knows. So he has the, uh, the special stick that, I don't know. I don't know, he's got a custom stick, but you have to fix that. Make sure it goes out, not to the damn headset. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. All right, there we go. Player one, Korean Wrestleman. 
<laughs> Player two Neckles in. Korea. This is gonna be the last time. If he wins, this is the last week, the last tournament for Korean Wrestling Man. They had a stream yesterday on Kazunoko's channel. It was called Farewell. Farewell, Korean Wrestling Man. Oh, he's going all pink. Sorry, bro. I don't have the pink on that that account there. Abigan cheering for Nekoze. Abigan, what game did Nekoze play? What is his background? Melty Blood, Chaos Code. Let me know. P for you? Okay. But here we go. Top four against the only first to two. Korean Wrestling Man looked a bit, a bit sloppy, right? So his his uh, earlier match was quite good, but he looked a bit sloppy. A lot of drops, a lot of uh, failed TODs. Let's see if he's able to warm up until now. Because if he played like he did before, he's not going to put a dent in the Kazunoko. Nice good punish on the 2H with the 5L. And he's going to confirmation off of Vegeta assist. Dragon Rush. Watch this mix up. Ready? Watch this. You're not blocking it. No one blocked that in the chat. Shut up. I didn't want to see you type that you did. He's going to do it again. Which way? Yep. Necker is just getting opened up right now. This is the Korean Rush Man I know. And he's got the meter now. He can kill. Yep. Dragon Rush. Optimal. Yes. This is the one I'm talking about. None of that drop nonsense from earlier. This is the Korean Wrestling Man I know. Perfect. Murdered Nekas, and that's going to be disheartening, too. Yeah, you can cross up. You can cross up. You can go high. You can go low. You can land your Dragon Rush. It's super grimy. One of the answers that we've seen a lot of players going to is that they just get hit. They just get hit by 17. Korean Wrestling Man has to be ready to confirm into that to actually get the combo after. All right, Nekuze feeling a bit uncertain of himself after getting his back blown out by 18, so he decides to spark, but right into Vegeta assist. Uh-oh. Plan. He could. Oh, uh, yeah, gonna bring an 18. I was about to say, I thought he was gonna do uh, 16, but he wants his girl on front, on point, running out that sparking timer, and another mix back to this. That would have been a punish, but of course the hell vanish, able to protect Nekuze a little bit. Got a happy boo-boo, but since he spent the spark before, he could not go into that. Crash. Boom. Plants him up. Level three again. They should be able to kill. Right, two against two right now, but still we have the spark here. On Karezu Man's side. His hero, right, the, the 18 has been taken out though. The 16 is pretty good, not as good as some other 16s though. And there's one. Reflect, Nekuze 2M punish, big damage starter. Yep, 2H, gonna break 16 right back in. No, he drops it, come on. What? Uh, 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 uh. 16 already covered his health, so he's not going to bring him in this time. Just going to keep Vegeta in, try and do as much damage as he can. But now Korean Wrestling Man lands it. It's his chance to get him out. Tag in. Yep. Brings in 16. Vegeta in the back. Got the powerful assist, and he got him healing now. Hammer time. Ooga Boonga. 5v5b. B. Lands. Extension. This should be it. Here you go, son. One bar kill. Okay. Karen Man fighting back. Nekoze down to 16. He's got three bars. Karen Man still with the spark, though. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, people getting ads? I got I got a good advice for you. Hit that Twitch Prime. Hit that sub. Or just get ad block. Yeah, you got an extension with Vegeta. Right, plan him. Vegeta, Dragon Rush. Plan him. Level three. Ba -ba. He didn't pick him up. That means he can cross up. That means he can cross up here. I think. Hi -hi. Oh, shit. I've got to take that off. Thanks for this up. Sorry. I didn't read that. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. Green Resident Man 1. That's all you need to know. He got him with the cross up there at the end. Thank you for the sub. I forgot to turn that off. You guys missed. That was actually the craziest mix-up I've ever seen in my life. That was a once, like, world-first mix-up. You guys see it? It was awesome. 
Karina Smith brought out the hidden Korean scrolls right there. Did you guys see it? Clip it. It was wild. Here's that mix-up situation again with 18. Behind, see? Some idiot in the chat was like, oh, I'm just gonna block high every time. He just went behind you and he went low. That shit looks like a Melty Blood mix-up, like a four-way, he can go whichever way he wants. It's wild. But so far, every time Nekuzay has been blocking 17, I want him to get hit. Let, let 17 hit you. I've never seen Cream Wrestling Man confirm when they just eat the incoming. I might. Bring in an 18. Yeah, he wants her out. He knows this is the scariest character. He wants to take her out. Whatever it takes. Dragon Rush, but no fear. He's mashing. That wasn't an OS, right? That wasn't a 2 HOS. He was just mashing the shit out of that 2L. He's like, I know you're going for that Dragon Rush. I don't think so, buddy. Nekoze in trouble. 3 against 2 right now. Right behind, you can see. Look, look, look who's behind Korean Wrestling Man. Look who's watching it. Like a hawk. Like a hawk. He's like, alright, I see that mix up. I see that mix up. I know what I'm going to do if I have to fight you next. Good double jump to avoid the uh, Vegeta assist here. Okay, and there's that 50 50. He can either fall with a jump L or just let me and go low. Too much Red Bull. Land and go low. He goes low that time. Opens up Korean WrestleMania, but drops the end. Oh, yeah, score is 1 0. Sorry. Korean WrestleMania 1, Neko Zay 0. It is only a first and two, so Korean Rest Man looking awfully clean. No, never mind. Come to his curse. Got him anyway with a YOLO. Actually, not YOLO. So what he did right there was he landed after the vanish, called 18 assists, did Dragon Rush. Even if Nekoze was mashing, the barrier would have eaten it and the Dragon Rush would have connected. 18 assists, very, very unique, right? Doesn't do any damage, but will absorb a hit. Uh, plan him. He wants the 18 mix back to this neck because he gotta gotta assume he's gonna spark right here. But he's on his last legs right now. Even with the spark, he's in trouble. Backing away. He's waiting. He's trying to wait for the perfect opportunity. There it is. You do not want to let that get baited. You don't want to lose the round. That's a start. Right into level three. Can't kill, but can set up this situation. One mix-up will be it. Which way? Overhead got. No! He didn't confirm, but counter vanish. Got one. Time is running out, though. You got to do as much damage, get as many hits as you can while the spark is up. Got them both? Doesn't have the full happy birthday combo. I hope they fix that. Gets the blue light. I really hope they fix that. I'm sure it was intentional, but I really hope they change that. You got to be able to murder assist if you land a hit. I hate how they fall out. That could have been the game, right? That would have been a sick comeback. But 16 fell out. Level 3. Sparking on a next side. He's in trouble. No, he's airborne. Yep, you can't mash level 3 against that. Any other character level 3 would have worked, but not 16. Not the grappler. Korean Wrestling Man over Nekoze 2 to 0, and now he made it to Grand Finals against the best player in Japan. The best player in Japan, Kazunoko. They played yesterday on their own stream, on the Farewell Korean Wrestling Man stream. I don't know what the result was, but can you do it? I didn't. I would bet any amount of money he cannot, but I want him to. I definitely want him to win. You think Kaz will throw the game? You think Kazunoko will be like, look, I'm going to give you farewell, a farewell present. GGP Kazanoko Grand Finals as he gets ready. Here's a shot of our venue. We're moving on down into the Tekken brackets. Let's see what happened here in Dragon Ball. So who lost? Kazanoko beat Aqua 2-0. He beat the other guy. Kishi 2-0. Kurin Wrestleman beat Nekoze. He beat um, Makuda. He beat Kindevu. That was a good match as well. He beat Tanoshi. Tanoshi's pretty good. 
Yeah, Moke was here. Moke lost 2 0. I don't know if he lost or he, he bounced. Pecos lost second round here. B lost second round. B is also quite strong. Verdane lost second round. Game lost first round. It was a bloodbath out here today. But here we go. Grand Finals fighting uh, Tuesday, number 36, 36 weeks of this. As Kazunoko going back to his older team, bringing back the Kid Buu, Gotenks on the sidelines for a little bit, testing it out, so far it's been working. Kazunoko making sure the monitor is just right, everything is perfect. Now on the first to two, Kazunoko is clearly the favorite, but I feel like optimal, like Ultra Instinct Korean Wrestling could definitely beat him in the first to two, right? If he doesn't drop his combos, there's so many games where if he doesn't drop his combos, his mix-ups are on point. If he doesn't drop the combos, like he can kill, he can take it. But he, that first game he played was ultra sloppy. The last game he was looking good. Some shaky parts later on, but if he plays optimal, he doesn't drop anything, he could definitely be causing the first two. Let's see which version of Korean Wrestling Man is showing up today in the Grand Finals. This is going to be his last chance. He's going back to Korea this week, is what I heard. This is his third or fourth trip to Japan for Dragon Ball. Can you go home with a beautiful souvenir of a championship, of defeating Kazunoko, and not like this already on early start from Kazunoko? People talking about Kaz his combos aren't good, his combos aren't good. That was a good-ass combo. Air to air confirmed with the extension. They're just writing fan fiction out here. But he overextends here, goes into the Vegeta assist, and here the mix-up. Got him. Oh, all right, all right. I saw actually Kazunoko, he tried to tech. He actually inputted the Dragon Rush, but it maybe a bit too slow. The rest of the man off to a good start. Drops it. Oh, my God, that was sick. Please kill him. Please kill him. Please kill him. Someone, how do I say that in Korean? Translate that. Say, please kill him. Okay. One. Two. Three. Got him. Yamcha is out. That's one. This happens a lot, though, right? Kazunoko loses one. He says, yeah, whatever. Hammer time. Doesn't get the full combo, though. Got him, Vegeta. Let's go. Korean Wrestling Man off to a great start here. Off to a great start. Hammer time, no assist yet, can't extend the pressure. Thank you, 18. 18, do it work. That's twice so far, just against Kazunoko. 18's helped him out. Dragon Rush, bring him out. Got him again, yo, the same setup that worked against Verdane. Or sorry, sorry, against uh, the other guy, the aerial scoop. Power up. So we got a powered up Gohan now. More damage, more mix ups, more tools. Can you survive this kid boot pressure though? Got it. Vegeta, thank you. Woo! Oh shit. 2M start. It's big damage here. Do not think he can kill, but Kareem Rest Man is gonna, gonna spark. He's gonna spark. Yep, there it is. Got a spark. Got him. That was unsafe. Kazunoku recognized he's about to die, so he had to spark on reaction. Ooh! How does that work? The 6M beating the tag and able to combo? Okay. Blocks, goes low on the second hit. Kazunoko shaking his head. He does not like that. This is Korean Wrestling Man's game. He is in control right now. Plant level three. No spark on Kazunoko's side. Does not have a, a strong assist. Full team on Korean Man. This is his chance. Yes, no, he didn't confirm. He didn't believe. That is respect, right? He's got so much respect in Kazunoko. He did not expect him to get hit by that. And now, oh God. Now he's in trouble. Five bars here. Level one, level one, drop him down. Level three, come here, Gotenks. Or Gotenks, sorry. And now we're tied up. And this is what Kazunoko does all the time. He runs these comebacks. You know Kareem Wrestling Man is scared for his life right now. He's shaking like the, the hornet's nest. Oh god, another Dragon Rush. Kazunoko is pissed. He's got a level three on deck as well. Come on, Goten. Nichan. And here's the mix-up. He's got fast fall. He's got full dragon rush. And now Kazunoko's winning. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Yeah, powers up. Level three now. This is still doable with Kazunoko in full control right now. I knew it. 
I knew it. I knew it when he didn't kill Kid Boo. It's one hit. Can't kill. DP, of course, is coming. DP. No, what the hell? He dashed under? Are you kidding me? He four dashed and in 5M. He knew he could escape in that situation. This man is ridiculous. Huh? Man? Ah, another level three. Progressive man, no spark. He's known to DP in bad times. There it is. It works out, though. Vanish, big bang attack. All right, Korean Wrestling Man in the lead now. Don't drop. Please don't choke. Please don't choke. Big bang attack. Yeah. All right. This is still doable. Kazunoka is less meter, less life, but he's winning somehow. I don't know how, but he's winning right now. Korean Wrestling Man has the life lead, but he's behind somehow. Uh-oh. That's a start. Not going to be able to kill here. Drop the combo to begin with. Surprising no 2 there from Kazunoko. I fully expected to do it. <gasps> Got him! No choke! No choke! No choke! No choke! Boom! All right, that's one. Okay. Okay. Only needs one more, and then we gotta find a Korean translator. Tournament game. Tournament point. Korean wrestling man from Korea. Kazunoko, though, not phased. He's been in the situation a million times. First hit goes to him, gets some momentum, and now he's in the corner, gets 18. He survives. Oh, but he tries mashing, and already 18's in the air. Yo, big boy lives? Which way? Can Kaz block? No, he just got hit. See? Guys, I'm as good as Kazunoko. I told you, just get hit. If you just get hit on that mix-up, right? Uh, Korean Wrestling does not have the answer. Wow, just wait 2H. I think that was the Dragon Rush, the Dragon Rush uh, OS. If he had Dragon Rushed, right, he would have uh, teched it. If he didn't, the 2H comes out. Oh, God. Goodbye, 18. All right, score is 1 1 Kazunoko now. I'm going to just up the game count. Go camp up at all. So you see how important 18 is on Korean WrestleMania's team. Like, she's the scariest character. Nice bait on the DP. Kazunoko recognizing that, make sure he takes out the problem. Now it's up to 16 in Vegeta. Still a very strong shell, but Kazunoko, full team. Okay. <gasps> Got him. You can afford to take those, though. Punish. Extension. One more, and then two level ones. Goodbye, Yamcha. Yes, 1-1, one, one. yes, 2-2, two to two. Kazunoko, Kazunoko, 2-2, two to two. both players with Spark. Yamcha is gone, Yamcha, very, very powerful team. All three of Kazunoko's characters are terrifying though, right? DP, doesn't want to spend, he doesn't have any meat to spend after that though. Kazunoko staying here, but waiting for the assist to come back before he goes in. Cross up, good block, and DP right out of there, that's Kazunoko, of course he's going to DP. Of course he is going to DP every opportunity he gets. That's what he's known for in every game. And then this slight stagger, right? Jump L, waits a second, 5L, catches Korean Wrestling Man, trying to jump back. Doesn't do anything. Spark, please spark. No, he just brings in 16, but gets tagged. Blue Life is now gone. Nice confirmation from Kazunoko there on the Super Dash. Fearless. Korean Wrestling Man, what, 4 for 4 on DPs? Good tag from Kazunoko. He puts his whole, when he texts those Dragon Rush, he puts his whole damn body into it. All right. Aerial hit. Going. Korean Man level three. Yes. Going to set this up. Kazunoko. Does he spark or is he confident? He's going to spark. He, he knows he's in trouble. He knows he's in trouble. He's got to spark there. Got to spark. And now you got to survive this dangerous Kid Boo. Powered up. Korean Rest Man. Oh, you're in trouble. Not dead, but it's going to hurt him. Kaz getting a lot of meter as well. Look at all that meter. God damn. Counter spark back. Kaznook about to run out. Vegeta, thank you. <gasps> Kaz shaking his head a little bit. Gonna go for the advanced stuff, but he drops it. Korean choke artist. Korean choke artist. All right, he wants Vegeta. He wants his mix-up situation right now. DP is definitely gonna get baited. No, it does not get baited. Korean Westman out DP and Kazunoko. Punished out DP and Kazunoko? Is this possible? In any game, is there anyone with better DPs than Kazunoko? Got him. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. We are going to have an upset. My man's last day in Japan. He's going back to Korea in the morning. Going back and beating Kazunoko, proving that the training in Japan has paid off. One more hit. One more hit is all it takes. God, God, God. Kazunoko with the headset off Korean wrestling, man. 2 0 against Kazunoko. My God. My man has been at, at least 10 fighting Tuesdays, always getting his back blown out. The Japanese players had the download on him. Not here at the end. Good stuff to him. Can we do. Can he speak? I don't speak Korean. Let's do uh, two foreigners speaking Japanese. We gotta be, gotta be quick. Oh, just have her ask. Yeah, you you ask. No, no, give her the headset. Hey, hey. Korean wrestling man. Good bitch. Here, sit down. Uh, here, sit, sit, sit. Korean wrestling man. Koreo. I can't even spell his name right. We don't have time. Korean wrestling man. God damn it. Korean wrestling. Wrestling. Oh, what the hell? Wrestling man. Okay. Eto. Do you have Twitter? Oh, let me unmute you. Uh, hold on. Let me go here. Bop, bop. Okay. Keep going, You can hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, uh. Yeah. Do you hear me? Are you on Twitter? Twitter. Twitter, are you? Twitter, are you? Yes. Twitter, are you? Yes, Twitter, are you? Yes. Yeah, write it. Ah, what is it? Twitter. 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 Okay. All right. Let's give a. Uh, uh, you do the interview. I don't know what to ask him. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. no, no, no. What kind of questions? I don't know. What do you think is a good question? Korean wrestling man. So give him a follow. Uh, will he leave? Ask whatever you think is good. I don't uh, know. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, no, no. Ah, no, no. Ah, so what's he saying? He's, he, he's here for vacation and practice. He's not living in Japan. Yeah, he's yeah. going back tomorrow. So yeah, yeah, he's going back tomorrow. Will yeah. he come back for the Japan Saga? Japan Saga is the control of the control. He said he's going back because Bandai Namco didn't allow him to use his controller. <gasps> Bandai Namco doesn't allow him to use the... Do you have your controller? Can oh. I see it? I want to show the stream. He's not allowed to use his his stick. It's not that, a, that's it's whack. A keyboard. Yeah, right? but who cares? What the hell is that? Yeah, so he can't play in the Japan soccer. So this is his stick that we always talk about. Look, it's like a modified uh, hitbox. It's a modified hitbox <laughs> there, right? It's a keyboard. So he's not allowed to use this at the Japan soccer. So he won't come. That's why he's going back. Oh my god. He's not even going. Even go. Oh my god, that is so stupid. I can't believe that. That's bad. Uh, so ask him, I don't know, just how does he feel for winning? Uh, Okay, so he just came here on a whim, mm -hmm. no plan, just knew some Japanese Street Fighter Five players, found the co connections and found out about this place to mm -hmm. them and said, okay, I'll check it out and just went here and there to practice because it's all console. Mm -hmm. So he's been having a pretty good time yep. in Japan. Uh, and we got to go, so we'll ask him, uh, why does he use 18? Why does he play 18? 아그 캐릭터를 18호를 왜 사용하시는지 조금 물어보고 네, 싶은데요. 네, 처음에는 이제 그냥 하고 싶은 캐릭터를 해서 골랐는데 네. 네, 처음에는 이제 이렇게 빼다는 인식 없었는데 이제 계속 제가 이제 어느 정도 연구를 해보고 이제 해보니까 캐릭이 괜찮은 것 같은 거예요. 아, 네. 그래서 이제 계속 연구하고 캐릭터 재밌어가지고 게임 자체 굉장히 재밌고 그래가지고 하다 보니까 이제 도중에 그만둘 수 없을 정도로 열심히 네. 하게 돼가지고. 네. He said he liked he liked the character, so he just started playing for fun, and he started 
researching on how to play this character better and he said, whoa, this is pretty good. And it was a lot of fun. He just stuck to it and said, I invested a lot, so I might as well just keep playing. Okay. Uh, all right, so last one. Do you have a message? Anything. Uh, Any message he wants to say? To the chat, anything is okay. Ah, yeah. 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 Has plans to come back to Japan, he will play here again. Okay. All right. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Man, I can't believe they don't let him enter that. That's bullshit. Thanks. They don't let him play because of the hitbox. Stream, you hear that? That's insane.